Happy Friday. My name is Jean Malo Davis, and who am I? I'm a wealth creator, and so are you. Wanted to come on here today and just wish everybody a happy Friday. Or whenever you see this, I hope you're having a great day and making it happen in your life. Wanted to come on here really quick and talk about ingenuity. Now, what is that? That's being creative, being unapologetically yourself, and coming up with awesome ideas to go out there and promote your brand, to market your business, to put yourself on the map, because the person who is screaming the loudest is going to get heard. So if you're hiding and you're worrying about what people think about you, what people say about you, oh, shame on you to be worrying about that in 2019. It's time to start living the dream, baby, and have 2020 vision. I got 2020 vision because I'm getting double for the trouble by God's grace and mercy. So what I wanted to talk to you about is being creative. Let me just tell you, you know, having a business, being in business for over 20 years and rebranding myself as a wealth creator, there's a lot of things that I picked up that I had to put down. You know, there was a lot of things that I was told, you're not supposed to do that. Don't do this. Don't do that. And when I decided to listen to the voice within and be unapologetically myself, guys, my business began to take off. My brand began to grow. People contact me and like, hey, look, can you help me market my business? Can you help me to brand myself? What am I not doing? How is it that you said you're able to get people to click on your ads, you know, to subscribe? You're able to market to these people. How did you make six figures in four months and turn around and do it again in less time? Well, just to be real honest with you, I looked for the best in the industry, man, and I attended their workshops. I attended their seminars. I got on their webinars. I mean, I did not do it by myself, but God gave me a gift, and it's called the gift of Gene, being unapologetically myself. And the ideas that I had, you know, whereas before in certain arenas that was dismissed here, I'm free to be me. And so I give you permission to be the best you, you can be. Stop worrying about copying people because as I was told, you'll be a second rate, whoever they are, but you're a first rate you. And I think you got you down pat. You just got to learn some new strategies, some new tactics. You got to um, pick up the phone still. Some of you guys don't want to pick up the phone and call people. You still got to do that. People want that human touch. They want to be touched. So I love when I get in a quiet place. OK, I get in a quiet place and I begin to do what I call my dream building. What I do is I write down ideas, uh, locations, uh, uh, classes or, you know, workshops or seminars that I want to conduct, you know, different ideas. And I love to see, especially my sisters out there. I'm talking about my brown bean sisters, my vanilla bean sisters, my Latino sisters. I'm talking about people who are out here making it happen all day, every day, you know, and um, I love to see when we come up with these creative ideas and I look and I was like, oh my God, that was awesome. Who would have thought to have a little workshop in their closet or who would have thought to, you know, come together with a little winery with women and do a women's event? Who would have thought to do just different things like that? And then, you know, I look at the men crushing it out there. And the reason why I want to go back to the women for a minute is that a lot of times 75% of any industry are women, but you see the men dominating. Why is that? Because men aren't afraid to be creative. They're not afraid to be themselves. It's attached to their ego. They're going to let their light shine. Whereas women, we feel that we have to get permission. We feel that we have to look to others. We feel that, oh, well, I don't want to come off masculine. I don't want to come off too strong. I don't want to come off like, you know, dust, dust, and dust. Look, man, stop. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Be yourself unapologetically. Use your ingenuity, your creativeness that God put in you. And baby, I'm telling you, you're going to have a great time. Listen, 
I love to sometimes go with my friends, people that I know. We go to a little winery. We sit down. We have a glass of wine. We pull out our book. And we think about, we just toss up ideas. Just toss up ideas of things that we want to do for the next year or two years or three years or five years. Just putting those ideas down on paper to be able to look at it in your handwriting. And that's what I challenge you to do today or this weekend. Sit down, baby, put on you a little jazz, or better yet, put on you some, um, um, what they call it, symphony music. It's called, I forgot the name. I want to say Baroque. Yeah, Baroque. Not broke, but B-A-R-O-Q-U-E. It is known that that type of music really stimulates your mind and have you to come up with a lot of creative things. So when I'm sitting down, I put that music on, Baroque symphony music you know, and um, I just listen to it. But then I begin to let myself go and I start thinking about ideas that I've had and things that I want to do. And I put it on paper. And guys, let me tell you, it works. Because when I look at our impact 4P conference, that was a thought. That was something I said on a Facebook live that we're going to do purpose, passion, possibilities. And my girlfriend said, Gene, throw in power. I said, okay, purpose, passion, power, and possibilities. You know, thank you, Felicia Paul. She gave me that. I have to say she gave me that. So, you know, the power part. And so I was like, okay, that sounds good. And we've been doing it every quarter. And then I was uh, looking to build a funnel on ClickFunnels um, for... Doing a workshop, I had an idea that I wanted to rent out mansions and I wanted to just have a small group of people, no more than 12, uh, there in the mansion. And we just go hard, really hard on supercharging our business. And when I was building a funnel, I saw this word supercharge. And I said, you know what? That's that's what it's going to be called. It's going to be called supercharge your business and increase your profits. And November, that's our fourth one that we're doing with that. And um, what was the other thing I came up with? Uh, my tip is tax max. I was working with a young lady for another company. She asked me to, the company asked me to put a tax program together. It never really, I put the program together, but we never did get it on the books because the company, <laughs> the company went out of business. I was like, wow, you know, and, um, but I still have the material. It is my intellectual property. And so I use that. And now I'm doing these tax workshops for the information I put together for another company, man. So just being creative, being unapologetically yourself, getting around leaders, people who are going to push you, people who are going to motivate you, not people who are going to be jealous. Or, I mean, who got time for that? That is so played out. We don't have time for that. We have time for people who are going to celebrate us. They're going to be like, look what you're doing now. What you're working on? Not that they're going to look to steal it, but they want to encourage you. Look, sit down. Have you read this book? Oh my God. Have you seen this movie? inspirational movie. Did you go to this conference? You need to go to this conference. You need to read this book. Did you go to that boot camp? Did you hear about supercharge? Did you hear about impact? Did you hear about, oh my God, you know, <laughs> level up coaching? Did you hear? That's the type of stuff that you want. You want people who are going to support you and they're going to help you to get tools in your arsenal to go out there and dominate in any industry that you're in. So as I said before, my name it's Jean Marlo Davis. I'm unapologetically myself. I am a wealth creator. You're a wealth creator too. And I want you to remember that it came from Jean. That you can have, be, do anything unapologetically. And that's just it. So listen, if you need help with your coaching, you need help with mentorship, you need help with getting your business off the ground, ideas off the ground, Look, whatever the case may be, maybe you need somebody on your ass for 21 days. That's our 21-day accelerated coaching program. Maybe you need that. Maybe you need a little Gene Davis on you. I'm telling you, it makes sense, so it's going to make dollars. So like this video, share this video. Please give me a comment below. Make sure, depending on where you're watching, you follow or you subscribe. And if you need my help, just inbox me, send me a private message, and I'll see how I can help take your dreams to the next level. Take your life to the next level. Be yourself unapologetically. God bless you.
Have a great weekend. I see you soon. Take care.